A particle of mass 50 gram moves on a straight line and the velocity time graph is given. We have to calculate the force acting on the particle at 2, 4 and 6 seconds. Let me name this point is, points as A, B, C and D. Between A to B you can see that the velocity is increasing linearly with respect to the time. Matlab yaha pe A se B tak there is a constant acceleration. Okay, what is the value of acceleration? We will see that later. Between B to C the velocity remains constant. If the velocity remains constant over here, if the velocity remains constant over here, I can say that the acceleration of the body is equal to zero. So B to C me acceleration zero hai. And between C to D, the velocity is decreasing continuously linearly with respect to time. So if velocity decreases, so there is a constant retardation. Now we have to calculate the force. That is, force is equal to mass into acceleration. Basically, mass is given. We have to calculate acceleration at three different sections. If you see the time period two lies between section A and B, the time period 4 lies between section B and C and the time period 6 lies between section C and D. So let us first calculate between A and B, okay? I am calculating the first section. So over here, over here, acceleration will be equal to V2 minus V1 divided by T2 minus T1. Let us take V2 over here, V2 yaha pe hai 10, V1 yaha pe hai 0, okay? So 10 minus 0 divided by T2. T2 yaha pe hai 2 and T1 is equal to 0. So basically the acceleration will be equal to 5 meter per second square in the first case. Okay? Similarly, for the second case, let me write this as A1. Let me write this as A2. For the A2, it will be equal to A2 it will, it will be equal to 0. Because B se C ke bich mein body ka velocity constant to accelerate nahi ho Let us calculate for A3 over here. Let us calculate for A3, V2 minus V1, that is, over here, V2, yaha pe if you see, velocity in this case is 0, minus V1, at point C, or at point D, let us take at point D, the velocity is equal to 10, divided by the time period, time period yaha pe aega 8, minus 6, okay, so it will be equal to minus 10, divided by 2 so minus 10 divided by 2 will be equal to minus 5 meter per second square so the first in the first the force in the first case will be equal to mass into acceleration which is equal to 50 gram 50 gram in kg can be written as 0 0.05 okay into acceleration acceleration in the first case is 5 so which is equal to 0 0.25 newton in the second case f2 will be equal to 0 because acceleration to 0 hai. in the third case F3 is equal to mass into acceleration mass is 0 0.05 acceleration we found out acceleration to be found out as minus 5 so it will be equal to minus 0 0.25 okay so let us see the answer if you check the answer carefully if you check the answer carefully so in the first case the force should be equal to 0 0.25 positive value second may 0 or third case may negative third case may negative 0 0.25 so if you see it is option number a okay so that is 0 0.25 along the motion 0 and finally it will be equal to 0 0.25 opposite to the motion of the body okay